Hello, how are you today? Hi, hi. Great, great, great to see you. Hello, good night. Good evening, how are you? Great to see you. I am fine. Excellent. Vamos a ver la attendance for today. Let's see, Adriana here. Adriana. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, Ana, Ana Alicia, no, no, yeah. Jonathan, do me a favor, pongas el nombre completo, solo le veo Jonathan PC. Ya lo voy a cambiar. Ok. Carolina, Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. No hay Claudia Carolina. Diego Batres. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Hoy estaré de oyente. Ok, Edwin. Uy, miren esta web bien puntual. Ahorita justo va empezando a llover aquí. Igual acá. Son las ocho. Empecemos. También aquí, teacher. <ríe> miren, ve. Son las ocho de la noche. Hay que empezar a llover. Dice. No solo la clase tiene que empezar a las ocho. ¿no? También la lluvia. Elvin. Elvin Alexander. No. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Nice, buen provecho. Joanna Ruth. Joanna. No here. Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Ya dijo Elvin. ¿Mm? Pasando lista está. Sí. Hola. Ya dijo el nombre de Elvin. Sí, ya voy a regresar, siempre repaso. Ya me cambié el nombre. Ok, excelente, Jonathan. Bueno. Eh, José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Karen Karen. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher, que estaré de oyente este día. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Ok, Zulma, no, Nubia Zulema. Nubia Zulema. 
Nubia, Nubia, no. No, Nubia. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar. Beatriz Chamelet. Present teacher. Ok. Vaya, voy a, voy a llamar a los que no estaban, tal vez ya lograron, ya hoy veo más gente conectada, ¿verdad? Quiero ver. Creo. Creo, creo. Eh, Analicia. Claudia Carolina. Elvin. Elvin. Present teacher. Eh, Joana. Joana. Joana, Joana, va en camino. Present, present, aquí. I'm here. <ríe> ok. Sí, la vi conectada, pero no la oía. Yo dije, va de camino mojándose todavía. Pero ya llegó, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Sí, teacher. Excelente. No podía conectar el micrófono. Oh, ok. Karen Elena. Karen, 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 no, Karen. Karen Stephanie. No. Carla Lorena. Present, teacher. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. Nubia Zulema. Nubia. Oscar Mauricio. No. Ok. Bueno. Vamos. Dieciséis sabemos ahorita. Ok. How are you today? Fine. Nice, nice. Did you have a good day? Yes, no, estamos por allí. Se me perdieron. Le voy a dar compartir de una vez antes de que se me olvide. Vaya, vamos a ver. Check. Okay. Look at this. We're going to ask about your experience today. We're going to talk about job experience. And when we're talking about job experience, there are some aspects that we are going to be taking into consideration, right? Look at the first questions I have here. How long have you worked in your company? How long? How long have you worked in your company? Who wants to cheer? I have worked. I have worked in this company for a year, right? What about you? How long have you worked for you in your company? Me teacher. Mm -hmm. I have uh, I have worked in my company for uh, three years. For three years. Okay. Yes. Good. Good, good. The company where I work in the morning, I can say I have worked for that company for, I guess it's 26 years. <clears throat> Something like that. Really? Yeah. I have worked in that company for about, for about 16 years, since 1996. Wow, mm -hmm. it's a long, long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't bore it. <laughs> no, because I like what I do, so I don't yeah. get bored. Right? Yeah. I'm but but it's a uh, the same the same uh, place. <laughs> the same place, but not the same students. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a different. <clears throat> Not the same students. So I have different groups, different people, year after year, different people. So 
Yes. It's like working in a different place every time. It's like, <laughs> yes, it's like a change. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> okay. That's the truth. Uh-huh, another volunteer? Choose a victim. Choose a victim. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Rosie? Uh -huh. On my yeah. seven, I will be 12 years working in my company. On May, two, on May 7th, next week, right? That's it? Yes. About Saturday. Yeah, 7th, I guess it's Saturday. You will be how many years? Rosie? 12. Wow, 12 years working for that same company. That's nice. That's nice. That's a lot. And, um, I, I and another, another, another week. The next, next week. Next week. Mm -hmm. Yes, I uh, have a, a three years in the. In you the will company. be three years. Okay. Yes. You'll be three years. It's like a rosy. Wow. Wow. Only uh, three years. <laughs> nine, only nine years less than Ross. Only. Yes. Only. Only. <laughs> okay, David, tell me. How long have you worked in your company? Um, in my new company is a uh, four year. Okay, tell me the, the following the structure. I have worked for this company. I have worked in this company uh, four, four, four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Yes. So check the, 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 the structure, right? I'm going to write the answer. Okay. Here. Here. So you say, I have worked. A ver. No me alcanza el escritorio. <laughs> I have worked for, for my company. De la compañía suya, ¿eh? I have worked for my company for. And then you tell me the number of years. O, a ver, mouse. Espérame, que este mouse está loco. So, you can say, I have worked for that company for, and you tell me here the number of years. For, let's say, 10 years, right? I have worked for that company. 14 years. If you want to use four. If you want to use another word, because that's possible too. I have worked for this company for 10 years. Or you can tell me I have worked in this company since, and then you tell me the beginning of the time. Since, and then today is, well, that will be from, to, since 2012, for example, right? If you want to give me the beginning of the time, I have worked for this company since 2012. Yes. And like that, you're talking about your experience. What is your experience working in that company? Now, have you occupied have you occupied different positions? In the case of Rosie, I imagine, yes. Yeah? Have you occupied different positions? Like first you were, for example, I see in the company that I work, as I have been there for some years, I have seen people who have been uh, who have changed their jobs. For example, one, she started as a teacher, now she's a supervisor. Another one, she started as a nanny, now she's a, 
a receptionist, right? So she was a nanny, then she was a, a janitor cleaning. And now with the pandemic, she became uh, a receptionist and now she is a receptionist. So she has, she has occupied three positions. There is a guy who started as a, a security guard there. First he was a security guard, then he became a janitor. After that, he became a, a, um, like in public relationships. And now he's an assistant, an administrative assistant. So uh, people can evolve, right? They can move in different positions. What about you? Have you occupied different positions? You can say, yes, I started as a, then I became a, and now I am a, So it's supposing that you have occupied uh, three positions in your company. So I started as um, the term in one position, then I became another position, and now I am on uh, the position that you use now. Okay, who wants to chair? Hmm? Volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer, yes. Me? <clears throat> okay. Uh, when I was started, I was a receptionist. Mm -hmm. And then I became a the nutritionist. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Very good. Another one. One more volunteer. Have you occupied different positions? In my case, I started as a teacher. Well, well, if, if, if I think a little bit, I have uh, evolved a little bit. I started as a, ch a, a teacher for little children that were about okay, five, six, seven years old, right? Then I became a teacher for teenagers, 13, 14 years old. A couple of years later, I became an adult, a teacher of adults. Later on, some other years more, I became a high school teacher. And then I, I, I took the accreditation for INSAFORP and I became an INSAFORP teacher too, without leaving all the other uh, positions that I had before. So. Now I can move between different ages, right? Teaching little babies, youngsters, teenagers, young adults, adults. Okay, so moving in different in different ages. And I have fun with each. <laughs> the fun that you can have with different age, it's, it's totally different, but I have fun with all the ages. <coughs> Okay, any other volunteer? No more? Me. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Claudia. Uh, I started as, um, I, I don't know how do you say, uh, archivo? Ar filing, at the filing, filing department, yeah. Filing. Ah, okay, I started as, um, at the filing department. Mm -hmm. and, and in pandemia, I was healthy in recession too. Okay. And then uh, I became I became a um, project accounting. Okay. Project accounting. accounting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you see? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. So you see how we can occupy 
different positions through the year, right? <clears throat> Once I sat down to make my CV and I said, I haven't done anything. For the 26 years, I have always done the same. And then I started writing the details and I started noticing that I have worked now after 26 years, I have worked with different programs along the school and that the experience that I have uh, gotten is not the same I had when I started 26 years ago, right? So, but only when you sit down, when you sit down to, to make notes of all the things that you have done through the years is when you notice that mm, I have really grown up. That, um, if we don't sit down to consider, we don't think about that experience that we have now as, as workers, right? Or as employees, okay. Now, talking about experience, look at the conversation we have now. Check. You're going to listen and repeat after me. Tell me about your job experience. Repeat. Tell me about your job experience. Tell me about your work experience. I work at Unilever for five years. Oh. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. <clears throat> in Panama. And what happened there? And what happened there? And what happened there? But just for a short period of time. It was just for a short, short, period, period, short of time. period of time. It was just for eight months. It was just, it was for, just eight, for eight, eight months. months. Until my project was done. Until, Until my project, project was, was done. done. Then I came back to El Salvador. Then, then I came, I came back, back to El Salvador. Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? And you have, and you not, have not worked, worked since you came, you came back? back? Not really. I have not done really. some independent jobs, you know. I really, have done I some have independent done jobs, jobs, you know. You know. But they have not been for long. But they, but they, have, but not they have not been for, for long. long. Okay, one more time. Tell me about your work experience. Tell me, Tell about, me about your, your work, work experience. experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. I worked, I worked at Unilever, at Unilever for, five for five years. years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. Actually, Actually I worked, I in, worked this in this company from, from 2011, 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. I quit because I, quit because I, was, I was offered, offered a, a new job, job in, in Panama. Panama. And what happened there? And what, and what happened, happened there? there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just it was for a short, for a period, short period, of period of time. It was just for eight months. It was just, it was for, just eight for eight months. months. Until my project was done. Until, Until my project, project was, was done. done. Then I came back to El Salvador. Then, then I came, came back, back to El Salvador. Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? And, and you, you have, have not worked, worked since, since you, you came, came back? back? Not really. Not really. Not really. I have mm -hmm. done some independent jobs, you know. I, I have, have done, done some independent, independent jobs, jobs, you know. But they have not been for long. But, but they have, have not been for long. long. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to be Julio, you are Anna, okay? Tell me about your work experience. I worked work work in Unilever, Unilever for five, five years. years. Actually, Actually, I worked in, work in this company, company from 2011 to 2016. I became, I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It, 
request just for a short period, period of time, time. time. Request just for eight, eight months, months until, until my project, project was, was done. done. Then, then I came I back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have, I have done, done some independent job, job, you know? You know but, but they, they have been not been for, long. Long. for long. Great. Now you are Julio, I am Anna. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? And what happened there? It was just for a short time, a, a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have and you not have worked, worked since, since you, came, you back? came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, nice. I'm going to send you to the rooms to practice the conversation. And then you answer these two questions. When did Anna start working in Unilever? When did she stop working there? Why did she quit her job in Unilever? And have you ever done independent jobs? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yeah, page 13 in your manual, right? Page 13. I, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, quit is like a renunciar. Uh-huh, exactly. Exactly. Um, okay, thank you. She abandoned her job. But imagine, would you abandon your job that you have had for five years for a project that is only eight months? Would you? Yes or no? No, but some persons could be. Mm -hmm. That's very risky. Definitely very risky. <coughs> Probably it could be a fantastic experience, right? But then come, come back without a job, it's like, wow. For the money. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> whiskey, whiskey, Luis Mauricio, whiskey. <coughs> Sería lo mejor. ¿Mm? No, no era whisky, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que usted me recomienda? Tequila. Ah, tequila. <laughs> no, es yo, una de las mejores opciones. Yo tengo la culpa. Paso, to, paso hablando de 9 a 12 y en el almuerzo me tomo un fresco con hielo. Mm, uh -huh. Mejor cámbialo por el tequila para que le libere. Un poco. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, then, then I won't give the other classes because I will be. Yeah. <laughs> okay, You're terrible. Vaya, I'm going to send you Karencita, póngase su nombre completo, Karen Vázquez. Solo le veo Karen Vázquez. Ok, teacher. Vamos a ver. No necesitan salirse para cambiar el nombre. Ahí a la par, denle clic a la par de su nombre. Ahí le va a aparecer más. Y después dice cambiar nombre y ya le agregan lo que les falta. ¿Verdad? Vaya, I'm going to send you, miren qué bonito, 19. Faltan todavía, ¿verdad? Pero, pero hay más. Bueno, I'm going to send you in pairs, 19. Mm, that means nine groups. Okay. There you go. Ready? Great. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yes. Yes, teacher. Ready. <laughs> we are ready. Allá vamos. Ahí los va a llamar.
try to join uh, Edwin, Elvin, Jonathan. Hola, eh, me desapareció la invitación a la sala 1. Vamos a ver. Podría volver a enviarla. Solo lo puedo mover a otra sala. Lo voy a mandar a las 6 hoy. Cheque si le aparece la sala 6 llamando. Elvi, hello. Ahí está. Hi. Hola, teacher. Hola. Mi compañero está de oyente porque está trabajando. Ay, no, qué tristeza. Vaya. Es que sí si me entristece de estos muchachos que me dejan. Solito. A ver, ¿qué número está? Es nueve. Ok, Diego. Mm. Ahí lo estoy mandando a otra, oye. A lo que os... Para que estén en otra. Ahí me avisa. Espérame que esta cosa no tiene una descarga. Hi, teacher. Karen. Karen a Karen. Hello. Hola, teacher. Aquí estamos las tocadas. El club de las Karen. Sí. Solo que no he conocido a la otra, Karen. Sí. Ah, ¿verdad? Pá página 13 me dijo, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, page 13. Ah, Karen Elena está por allá. Por allá. Okay. Ya me falta por favor. Ya la tengo. Vaya. Sí, se podemos transmitir. Sí, va. ¿Mm? sí, 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 sí. Hoy sí me acordé. Vaya. Está... Empezamos. Yo soy Julia. Uh -huh. Hi, Carolina. Hi, teacher. Edwin está de oyente, ¿verdad? Sí, igual que yo estoy. No, que estoy repasando yo ahorita la. la voy a lo voy a mover. Es que yo había mandado tres acá, pero el compañero al que mandé para acá no logró unirse. Entonces terminé okay. moviéndolo y les mandé. Sí. Pero se me perdió. Está bien, chicha. Vamos a moverla a la. Ya, ya. Más. <ríe> Y ese digo, ¿qué? Y el otro, uno se fue y el otro ya no se movió. Vaya, Edwin, I'm going to send you to number two, two, so you can listen. I work in from any uh, uh, 2011. Yes. <laughs> ya iba a decir 20 de 11. <laughs> 2011 or 2011. You can say 2011. 2011 and 2016. Uh, I quit because I was suffering a new joke in Panama. And what happened? And what happened there? It was for a short period of time. Uh, it, had, it was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked uh, since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you know, but they have not been for a long, for long, sorry. Okay. Este... Diego. Ok, ¿quién comienza? Comienzo yo. 
Uh, oh yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about your work experience. I work uh, at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you know, but they have not been for long. Excellent. Teacher, hello. Hello. Teacher. hello we teacher. are waiting for you because okay. we need some help. Uh -huh. Tell me. In the homework, mm -hmm. in the yesterday homework, I'm just give up with the number four. Okay. Let five. me. Let five. Me, okay. With the number five. Mm, la, la, plataforma. Ah. I tried every word in every place and it just doesn't work. In you in the second, right? Yes, side. in the second. Yes. Yes, in the second. One moment. And the question four is the change the the staff for employees. Is in the yes, the word staff sí, doesn't bien, work. Que me fui bien lejos, que barbaridad. Me fui a la safe. Move. Move. Está patinando, ya va. No. Ay, no puedo jugar ahorita. Here you have to write the sentences. It says, and scramble the words to form sentences. Mm -hmm. In At class we say, Maria could be great help of the, in the, uh, uh, uh. Espérense que ya lo borré. Could be great help in the department of inventory. Vamos a ver. This. Y no les agarra ninguna. No, ya le di vuelta. Puse lo del final, el principio, lo del principio, el final, punto, mayúscula, todo. Number four. Number five. Number five. Number five. Number five. Solo number five le da problema. Ajá. Number four, eh, the word staff, eh, no la agarra. Tiene que ser the word employees. In place of staff. Queda like weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees. And the correct word is uh, employees, no staff. Mm -hmm. okay. es, es un típico error de dedo. Vaya, en la, en la última, en la number five. Eh, cuando, cuando usted hace la oración puede perfectamente decir in the department of inventory or in the inventory department. Mm -hmm. Pero le pusimos ayer in the in the Department of Inventory porque llevaba off para poder ocuparla. Uh -huh. uh, dice María could be of great help. Mm. Is there a great help? 
of great help in the inventory department. Pero entonces la A nos... Ah, es que aquí no haya. No, no haya. No haya. Ajá. María could be of great help in the inventory department. Mm. No, María could be of great help in the inventory department. Mm, no me la da, da buena. Could be. Mm. María could be of great help mm -hmm. in, in the, the inventory department. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, así, ahí se dio, ya dio. Okay. Ah, ah, sorry, sorry. Sí. I was putting a, a extra por qué, A. Ajá, ¿Por ajá. qué, teacher? Exactly. ¿Por qué of antes? Y sí, en la number four, es verdad, que le han puesto employees en vez de staff. Son synonyms, ¿verdad? Pero, pero ajá, employees le han puesto weekends off. Would be a good option to have happy employees. Sería María could be of great help in the inventory department. Mm -hmm. yes. No me la agarro, te he dicho. No, así es. Como no, de letrero. No le ponga acento a María, ¿verdad? Ah, sorry. <risa> Ahí está Joana. Sí, ya vi. Es que si usted es... le pone acento. Le el, el corrector automáticamente le pone el acento. Hoy sí, ya me lo agarro. Es que era eso, ¿verdad? Sí, es que a veces uh -huh. así este detalle. Ajá, solo no, no había intentado poner la palabra off antes porque no se me había ocurrido, de verdad, y le di vuelta a todo. Me pasé, le estaba diciendo a David que pasé desde las cuatro, estaba en la oficina tratando de darle vuelta a todo. Incluso puse a mis compañeras. <risa> Pero ninguna puede, entonces. Ajá. No, el asunto es que eh, este, cuando hay dos formas de hacerlo, la plataforma ya tiene una, vea. Ajá, ya tiene una. O sea, una. aunque la otra sea posible, no, no la acepta. Pero sí. Ok, thank you, teacher. Okay. ok, now David, let's start with the questions. Ok. Ok. Ay, se me cerró el manual otra vez. Vaya, question number one. Is, when, this, when did she stop working there? Uh, on 2011. Where, where, where? The, the, answer, the answer is Where the, did Anna work start in Unilever? Ah, uh, 2011. She started. How, how it would be the answer? She start what? Started. In past? Mm -hmm. Since 2000, no, on 2011. In, because you're just giving the year. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. In, okay. Number two. Ah, oh, no, when she did stop working. Esa es la number two. Yo 2000... también. <laughs> sí, en 2016. Then, why did she quit for her job of Unilever? Because... Because she... It will be like she get a new job. Because she was offered... A new job in Panama? Mm -hmm. A new job in Panama. And then, have you ever done? Hay zonas también complicadas. Have you finished? Uh, finished? Yes, we finished. The questions? Yes. yes. We finish. Okay, perfect. I'm back to El Salvador. 
If you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Do me a favor, chicas. Show me the answers to the questions. Okay, teacher. When did Dana start working? ¿Cuándo empezó a trabajar? No me ah. contesté con el auxiliar. Ya saben. Uh -huh. She. ¿Cuándo comenzó? Ajá. She started working. Recuerden que lo que ocupan para responder es el verbo, ¿verdad? Sí. Y como estamos en pasado, el verbo en pasado. Quiten todo. Porque el four years no, no pelle. No, no, no. She Porque start... no. Vaya, chequen. Que no les está preguntando how long did she work at Unilever, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. no When did Anna start long. working in Unilever? Ajá. How long? No dice how long, sino que when. O sea, ¿cuándo empezó a trabajar at Unilever? She started working. She started okay. working. No, working. Mm -hmm. Start. She started working. The working. Sí, no, working. Solo working. Sí, acuérdense que cuando respondemos una pregunta tomamos parte de la respuesta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. She, started She started working in Unilever. In, in and, y me dice el año. In 2011. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa mala también, teacher. She. She. When did she stop? Sí, tiene que ir igual. Buscando el verbo en pasado. She. She started. Vaya, y cheque. La pregunta dice, when did she stop working? Entonces significa que tiene que ocupar en la respuesta, she stopped working. Mm. Y allí si el año está bien. Quítele el did, porque el did sería solo para afirmativas y negativas. Digo, para preguntas y negativas. Ahí que se nos confundimos ya un poquito. Mm -hmm. She stopped working. She stopped Stop. working. She stopped working in Unilever. Yeah. She stopped working in Unilever. In 2016. Mm -hmm. In 2016. Okay. Stopped. Póngale stopped con la double P, ¿verdad? She stopped working at Unilever. In 2016. ¿Qué hice? No, 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 ya sé qué pasó. Sí, La de más, teacher, number two and three. Vamos a ver la number two. 
No, it's era la number two. She stopped to working at Unilever. Unilever in 2000. Why did she quit her job in Unilever? Because she was offered a new job in Panama. Está bien. Have you ever done independent job? I have not done independent job. Sí, está bien. Pero recuerden como es una yes, no question, tiene que empezar con no. No, I have not done independent job. O podría decir también never. No, I have never done independent job. Pero mayúscula, este, no se les olvide. Sí, 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 sí. No se les olvide las mayúsculas. Bajo pena de la señalización de la techa. Nah. <risa> <risa> No les gusta mucho. Usted me puso nerviosa, teacher. Mira, aquí ah, está. Ahí está, ahí está. Ahí está. I have never done independent job. Nice. Nice, nice. Mm. Very good. Bueno, vámonos entonces. Teacher, yo no recordaba esa clase hasta ahorita, la estoy recordando. En serio. Sí, pues sí, es que ya ratitos. Uh -huh. Ya ratitos vimos el pasado. Let's que go. lo pasado ya pasó. <risa> sí me interesa, ¿eh? <risa> A mí también, pero no sé por qué no lo recordaba. Ya. Ay, yo. No. Vámonos. Vámonos. Gracias, Nube. I'm silent. Ready. Hi, Nubia. How are you? Estaba de jalarla, pero no sé qué pasó, que no se lograba unir, me volví a aparecer fuera. Sí, teacher, I had a problem with my internet. Oh. But I, I say the class right now. Ok, ok. Bueno, ahí estamos. Ready, ready. Vamos a ver si. Yes, hay... teacher. Ya, ah, ya. <risa> todos muy bien. A ver. Tell me, when did Anna start working in Unilever? When did Anna start working in Unilever? She started working in 2011. Un pensito. Ah. Okay. She started working. Vamos a dar una respuesta larga. She started working in Unilever. When? In 2011. In 2011. Ay, voy a manchar la cara de este hombre. Ahí está. When did she quit her job in Unilever? She? Give me she a quit. answer. She quit because she was offered a new job. Ay, mire qué chistosa. Estaban dos preguntas juntas ahí arriba. She quit working. Oh, well, oh, well, she keep, quit her job at, in Unilever. Recuerden que cuando respondemos una pregunta de este tipo, retomamos parte de la pregunta para responder. Cuando vamos a dar una respuesta larga, ¿verdad? Uni, Unilever. Qué barbaridad, vaya ver que estoy escribiendo yo. She's, she quit her job in Unilever because and then you tell me the reason. Why? 
Why did she quit her job in Unilever? Because. Hola. Because she was offered a new job in Panama. Exactly, because she was offered a new job in Panama. Vamos. Esta es la, esta es la respuesta de esta. What about, what about the second? When did she stop working here? She stopped, recuerden tomar el she verbo de la... She stopped working Ajá, she stopped in working. Unilever. On Unilever. Mm -hmm. she in stopped. 2016. Exactly. She stopped working in Unilever, or you can say she stopped working there. In two sacks in 2016. In 2016. Mi letra mano no es así de fea, okay? <laughs> Ay, no, como que voy de... I believe you. <laughs> como que soy de kinder. But she stopped working there in 2016. A ver, the last one. Have you ever done independent job? Como es in una my yes case, no question. No, I haven't. Okay, nice. So you say... No, I haven't. Como es una yes, no question, tiene que decir no si va a ser negativo. Y si va a ser afirmativo, tiene que decir yes. Ok, no, I haven't. O you can say no, I have never done independent jobs. Right? I have never done independent jobs. I have tried it a um, couple of times. Just a couple of times, but nothing like formal right okay questions here no? Da, 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 da. no questions no questions let's go then da, 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 da. Qué razón? oops bueno, let's call attendance now before we go to something else um, Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Claudia Carolina. Present. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina Vigail. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Joanna. Present. Jonathan. Present. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen is Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen is Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Beatriz Yamilet. Present teacher. Okay, Pacha. Muy bien, ya vemos mate. Hmm. Nice, nice. Okay. I'm going back.
Okay. Now, we are going to talk about how to use expressions of time or time expressions. Check. If we use for when we want to talk about a period of time. For example, if you say, well, I have worked in Indiana for seven years. I have worked in this company for five years, right? I have, I have worked in my current work for 20 years, okay? So if I'm going to use for, I'm talking about a period of time. So you can say seven years, two months, five days, six years, okay? So you can count years, months, weeks, right? I have worked in this place for two weeks, if you're new, okay? When we use since, we are talking about a specific point in the past. Uh, contrary to four, when we talk about four, we talk about the period of time, right? For two years, but when I use since, I'm talking about the starting time, right? That's why it says a specific time, but that specific time is the starting time. For example, when I told you I have worked in the company that I work in the morning since 1996. So I tell you the beginning time or the time when I began working there. We can say we have been in class since eight o'clock. Yeah. We have started or we have studied English since October, November last year, right? Something like that. But it is the starting time. Another expression that we can use is for, from, sorry. When we use from, we talk about the start and the end. From this time to this time. From Monday to Friday. From January to November. From seven to 10. So I'm beginning and end. For example, the class is from eight to 10, yeah? And this course goes from April 27th to May, no, 25th, right? From April 25th or 27th, not 27th, yeah. From April 27th to May 20 and something, yeah? From to the beginning, the end. That's a period of time. But instead of saying for a month, I say from this time to this time. Yeah. We can also use then to introduce a new event in a series. I, work, uh, I worked in that company until 2011. Then I quit. Yeah. So one event finished. And then I'm introducing another event. I worked there. I worked in that project until 12. Then I had lunch. Yeah. I worked in the homework until 11. Then I went to sleep. So I introduced a new event, yeah? Another expression that we are going to be using is until. This is used to mark the end of an activity or the end of a period of time. I worked in Panama until my project was done. I went to bed until I finished the homework, yeah? So we mark the end of an activity or the end of a period of time. Any question there? Question. 
No questions. No questions, teacher. Okay, bye. I'm going to give you a, a couple of minutes for you to think about examples. And then we will check. Okay. Write an example sentence using each of those words. I'm going to add an extra page so we can write, remember we using for, since, from, to, then and until. Okay, give me examples using four. I was a supervisor for three years. I have been a super. For how many years? Six. For three years. Oh, for three years. Okay. I have been a supervisor. I'm going to make it bigger. Uh -huh. I have been a supervisor for three years. Another example. Using four. Give me another example using four. Only one. One more example using four. Mm -hmm. I worked um, I worked in 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 subway for three years. You don't work in subway anymore. No. I worked in subways for uh, three years. It's late to uh, my partner. <laughs> Only three years. Okay, I worked in subways for three years. Then <laughs> then I quit. Right? Yes. Then and, I and <laughs> work in San Rocket Pharmacy since. <laughs> then I moved to San Roque Pharmacy since um, Así 20... San Roque, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Bye. Ahí está hasta allí. Ahora, I have worked, I have worked in San Roque Pharmacy since when? 2019. But I have worked into in San Roque Pharmacy since when? 2015? No. 
19. Oh, okay. Only three years. Okay. And then quit. <laughs> and then quit. <laughs> and then quit and quit. go to another for other three years. No, mentira, Rosy. Oye, mentira. Son broma, Rosy. <laughs> We're joking, Rosy. <laughs> Mañana <Only>. informo. <laughs> I just que kidding. Mauricio, que Luis Mauricio está renunciando. <laughs> It's only for example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, a, it's a, a class, only class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me another example. We have used for, we have used since, and then, a ver, let's use for, uh, from. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, I was in training for five days, is correct? I was in training, see, for five days. Y si se fija, siempre me está diciendo un period of time. Okay. Is similar in the hours? Cambie, cambiémoslo, este, David. I was in training. Ay, no, no, no. I was in training. Desde qué hora hasta qué hora? The other day, the aim to, to 5 p.m. From, I from? From 8 a.m. From 8 a.m. to? To 5 p.m. To 5 p.m. Vamos a cambiar esto que esto no fue en rojo. Ahí está. I was in training from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. See, and then you are using from to beginning and end. Yeah, nice. Now let's use until. Until. In this case, you can use a sentence in past, right? I was. Awake until midnight. No, yo ya estoy viejita. Ayer ya no aguanté. <laughs> a las once caí. It Bye. will be, I was working as a assistant until become a nutritionist. Perfect. I was working as an assistant until... And became a nutrition. Mm -hmm. The same in my case. I was working as a secretary until I graduated as a teacher. Then I started working as a teacher. And I never worked as a secretary again. Okay, any questions here? No questions. Perfect, perfect. Están bien fáciles de usar, ¿verdad? Estas expressions. Yes. Sí, of course. Vaya. Now, let's do this. Check, check. Read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks with for, since, from, to, and long. Mm -hmm. Y then no me voy a No, then. Nicole was born in San Salvador, Salvador. And... She studied there from 2005 uh -huh. to 
from 2005 to 2011. 11, yes. Yo pienso que aquí se equivocó. Then, Ajá. then she worked. Porque no le da, pues yo digo, vea, yo digo, ahí si no sale una con long de vuelo. Es a mistake. De mano al java mistake. Qué raro. <risa> then she worked in Monza. For seven years. Pues sí, es que long no es una expression of time, así como que. Uh -huh. Vaya. She studied from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Monza for Monza. seven years. Seven years. Years. Since, since, since she was a child. Mm -hmm. She went to be a manager. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great mm -hmm. and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because, she, because the man who was the manager. For mm -hmm. almost 15 years. Uh -huh. Yes, for. Ay, este es un, ay, qué barbaridad, Pere. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, God, the mouse, como the mouse que era Apache en el mousepad, que no me dejó hacer la O redonda. <laughs> ok, antes le echaba la culpa al periquito, pero ya no puedo. Vaya, four. Eight, vaya, chico. Ah, because the man was the manager for almost 15 years, <laughs> retired. <laughs> His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2015. Ah, pues no pegaba, ni que estuviéramos ya en el 30. <coughs> ah, pues pongámosle 2005. ¿Para qué pegue? Pues estamos en el 2022. Yes. Aquí serían 7, no 15. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday. Mm -hmm. She has not worked there. From Monday to Saturday. Okay. And she loves her job. She has not worked there. Ah, pues sí, vamos a usar el long, ya vi. pero faltaba el den también. Ajá, uh -huh. she has not worked there. Ya le di copia, díganme. Long. Long. <laughs> long. Copia. Así como que miren, esta es la respuesta. ¿eh? Ok, she has not worked there long. O sea, no mucho, no por mucho tiempo, right? She has not worked there long, but her team supports her. I need a volunteer to read it complete. Volunteer. Thank you. <laughs> Me. Okay, go ahead. Nicole was born in San Salvador, Salvador in 1985, I think. <laughs> she graduated from UK. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Then she worked in Mosa for seven years. Since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a, of a great and important company. She did, she did not have a way much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since 2005. Today, Nicola is a successful person and she works from Monday to Saturday and she loves her job. 
She has not worked there long, but her team support her. Nice. Nice, nice. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you. Questions? No? Choose a victim or... No questions. <laughs> <laughs> Luis Mauricio <laughs> loves victims. Yeah, I know. I know, yeah. I know. <laughs> this is the favorite part of the class for him. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when, Let it on, but keep the victim. victim. Keep the eye on the victim. Keep the eye okay. on the victim. But check. We're talking about a. There is a video in the manual. The first doesn't work. It was eliminated already. But the second video or the second link that you have there about a, talking about your job. What I could capture from that video is the following. When you talk about your job, uh, first you introduce your job, right? That's the first thing, introduce your job. So you say, I work in, and then you tell me the field that you work in, right? I work in education, I work in marketing, I work in digital marketing, I work in finance, I work in accounting. Teacher, work... uh, sorry, it's like, uh the introduction for the the girl the la eh, como decirle eh, parecido a lo que acabo de leer ajá okay <laughs> but now yes. you are like... mm -hmm. now you are introducing your job Okay. Siempre andamos hablando del trabajo, right? So you uh -huh. say, you know what? I work in finance, right? Or I work in the, I work in the department, in the, in the accounting department. So you can work, you can mention the field that you work in. I work in, in education, yes? Or you tell me the place where you work or the department where you work. I work in the human resources department or financial firm. I work in the accounting department. I work in the language area. I work in the English area. Uh, for example, for the teachers, I work in the... There are areas, right, among the, the, the groups of classes that you have, and you can divide it. Or you say, I work in a school teaching languages. I work in a pharmacy selling products. I work in a pharmacy visiting uh, clients, right? I work in a clinic helping people to lose weight, right? So. You tell me the place and the department. Also, you can also describe it saying who you work for. I'm a salesman. I work for a mobile phone company. I work for a law firm based in Frankfurt. I run a business, so I work for myself. Para quien trabaja? Para mi, right? I run a business, I work for myself. What do you think is the difference between I work in and I work for? Have you seen, uh, for example, those freelancers? Freelancers work for a company, not in a company because they are not employees of the company. Yeah. So they can say, I work for and say the name of the place because they are not part of the employees of the company, but they offer a service to that company. In that case, we use for and the name of the company. Okay. And you will complete these sentences for you. So you say, I am a, I work in, or I work for. Okay. Write your sentences before we pass to the next next step. 
Ajam a. I work in or I work for, depending on your case, right? I work in or I work for. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Yes, ready. Yeah, can we move to the next? Can I move? Yes. Okay. Later on, you will share, to, so keep it, right? Now, describing your company. So you say, I work for a, and here you add an adjective. I work for a big company. I work for a small company. I work for an international company. I work for um, whatever. So you write an adjective here because we are describing your company, right? And here you describe what the company does. So you say, I work for a big company which teaches English. Yeah, I work for a big company which teaches English. What about you? Yeah, remember the adjective and what the company does. I work for a big company which teaches English. I work for a textile company which elaborates sports clothes, right? Write your sentence to and get ready to share later with your partners, right? Teacher. Hola. Solo es una, una duda aún. Ajá. Eh, todas estas las... Las palabras las tenemos que hacer tal, tal como el texto que leímos o, o así por separado. No, así por separado. Ahorita así por separado. Ah. <ríe> Yo pensé que lo tenía que hacer. No, si tal. usted quiere hacer un párrafito, it's ok. Ah, ok. No problem. Cualquiera de las dos es igual. <ríe> ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Ready, ready. Yeah. Just teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye, and let's go to the next one.
how to describe your job in more detail. So you say, I am a nurse. I have to look for, I, I have to look after patients. I give them medicine and make sure they are comfortable. I'm responsible for about 20 to 30 patients. Most of my time is spent talking to patients and checking their everything is okay. So describe it, describe what you do, right? You will describe what you do. So remember, first thing, introduce your job. Second thing, describe your job, right? And then you describe your job in more detail. Ready, ready? Yes. Yes, no. <laughs> Just a couple of minutes. Okay. No teacher. No, yes. I'm going mm. to send you. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. No teacher. <laughs> no teacher. Bye. No. I'm going to make I'm going to make groups now. Let's see. Ah, porque hay que pasó. Ya nos mandó. <ríe> Quería cambiar los grupos. Ya no me fui, me quedé. <ríe> me dijo, no, teacher, no. Pero ahí vienen de regreso los que se habían ido. <ríe> es que es de esos lapsos brutos. Ahí vienen. I'm going to, I want to make you groups now. So you share your experience with other people, right? <laughs> I'm going to make groups of four. And I sent you with the partner that you were before. <laughs> Coming, 11 seconds, 10 seconds. Six, five. But you read at this moment you're ready with your sentences, right? Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. Ahí está. Jejeje. Tres por siete, veintiuno. Me quedan tres en cada grupo, pero quiero que vayan cuatro. Uh -huh. Sí, muy bien. Some of three, others of four. Quiero ver. Es que quiero mandar a los que están trabajando a un grupo de cuatro. Va, ahí está. Vaya, hoy sí. There you go. Share your sentences, right? Share your sentences with your partners. Join, join. Luis Edgardo, Elvin, Adriana. Elvin, hello. A ver, Nubia, in room number three. David no le aparece. Sí, chef, tengo duda. Tell me. Vaya, este, para empezar, ¿Lo hacemos según las opciones que había dado ahí? ¿O según la, la última descripción que dio el trabajo? Van a ser las, have... las tres. 
Primero, introduce your job. Then, uh, describe your company. And then what you do. Describe job in more detail. Y tiene, tiene que no capture la. Remember Teacher, the first pero... one, when you say I am a sales. Uh -huh. Primero es el día sí. I work I in o I work for. Después, I work for, eh, ya me dice, describe la company. Which, y dice que hace. Y después Ese entra, sería... y después ah. entra en más detalles sobre lo que usted hace. Porque ya me dijo en la segunda parte donde escribe la, describing the company, me dijo lo que hace la compañía. O a qué se dedica. Ah, okay. Ya en el último, describe to, uh, how to describe your job in more detail, ya me describe lo que usted hace. Se lo voy a compartir en el, en el chat. Sí, por favor. Este, para decir que... Que se dedica a la construcción. Sería... Which dedicates to construction. Which dedicates to construction. Dedicates. Eh, yo ya llené esas. Por ejemplo, I am an architect. I work in administration. Porque ese es el área, ¿verdad? Ajá. I work in administration. Eh, I work for a Japanese company which dedicated and consulting supervision and design civil project. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y ya después sería más en detalle lo que yo hago. Lo que usted hace, exacto. Ay, se me aparece un cosito aquí. Ay, no. Quítate Zoom. Se me atravesó de, de todo. Vaya, ahí le estoy mandando las cuatro fotitos. Ah, okay. Okay, what's that? Hi. 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 Hello. Tell me. Uh, what do you do? <laughs> what we, we what we do? You have to write, remember I told you, write your sentences describing, well, first introducing your job, right? It's like a, a final slice. Uh -huh. No. No, first describing, uh, introducing your job. Then describe, uh, describing your company. Y después describing your job. Por ejemplo. Porque no es lo mismo describir la compañía que hace la compañía con la última que, que hace usted. Mm -hmm. Yo, por ejemplo, I am accounting. I work in finance department. Mm -hmm. I work for FIs. Uh, I work for a little company with, with help the environment. And uh, then I am accountant. I have to make many payments, read and apply laws, analyze information, and prepare report. I'm responsible for the pay applied on time. And how do you say? Tener información al día, actualizada. Updated. Updated. 
updated. Give, ah, okay. Give information updated. Give information updated. Okay, thank you. Okay. Hey, fantastic, uh, Claudia. That's a great description. Ah, okay, thank mm -hmm. you. That's what you have to do. Okay. Thank you and Grace. <laughs> <laughs> you have the example. Okay, very good. Great. Great, great. Okay. I les puse in the chat. Uh -huh. In the chat the WhatsApp, all the pictures. All the pictures. Mm -hmm. Thank pero, you. Pero, pero usted está completa, Claudia Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes. In my case, I work in a pharmacy in a administration department. Um, I'm a administrator for the for the company because it's a. a what do you say, Sucursal? <laughs> a branch. A branch. Oh, really? Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a branch. Uh, okay. Mandarin. Mandarin. Okay. 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 A medium company, probably because it's only 23. Only in Aguachapan. Sorry, Peter? Only in Aguachapan. No. Well, I work in, in it's only in Aguachapan, uh -huh. but, but the pharmacy have a 23 branches in, in all the country. Yes. All the country or only the occidental area? Occidental. No in San Salvador. No. Y así me, me acusaba de que yo no sabía de la farmacia. Ya va a ver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eso... I made a mistake and he was like, why did I go where I went? I don't have pharmacies in San Salvador. They don't exist here. <laughs> no teacher. Uh, only only two branches in Santa Tecla City. Okay. But I don't go to Santa Tecla often. It's too yes. far. <laughs> it's too far. <laughs> yes. Okay. You buy it in Santa Tecla City, please. <laughs> we will go to Santa Tecla one day to see the pharmacy. Yes. Please, please. <laughs> I promise. It's your I promise. promise. It's your promise. <laughs> One okay. day. I don't know when. But I will put in the ways. Yes. Roque okay. Pharmacy Santa Tecla. <laughs> get directly. Okay. Because I don't know Santa Tecla much and I can get lost. <laughs> but with the ways, I will get there. Okay, I guess you finished, right? Just Grace yes. missing. Listen to Grace. Okay. Hi, hi. How are we doing, Carlita? Ahí está Karen. Vaya, Karen. Aquí está la otra Karen. Karen Janet, Karen Elena. I think. Yo yes, finish. Finish. Pero que no la conocemos. No la persona. conocemos. Karen Elena, queremos conocerla. Can you open the camera so they see you? Hello. Es que ando despeinada, teacher. <laughs> ah, yo también. No crea que yo me he peinado. Solo así como el gato con las garritas, ya. Aquí tengo otro gato. ¡Ay, oh, qué bello! I, can you imagine, Carla? I have never had a yellow cat. Ah, uh, oh. Ajá, uh -huh. I have never had a yellow cat. 
I have had black cats, gray cats, eh, white, but never, never yellow. It's beautiful. This cat I bring to Honduras. This is an uh, Hondureño. <laughs> It's an Honduran cat. <laughs> Extranjero. No, imagine. Y pesa, pesa como 22 libras. Sí, I see it's very big. <laughs> very big. The one you had there yesterday is similar to a baby cat that, that we rescued about a week ago. Uh -huh. I, I, I have five cats. Wow, now I have two. I used to have one. At the beginning of the pandemic, I got six. But then wow. I started giving them away, right? And, and <laughs> I finished with two. One got lost, never came back. Wow. So I, I, I had only one since then. But last week we rescued one it came crying over the roof. Then my, uh -huh. my daughter went on the roof and got the cat. <laughs> now we have two cats. It, was, it is a baby, it's about three months. I don't know how it got to the roof. I have no idea. <laughs> because the, the cats yeah. have to esterilizar, como se dice. Ah, yeah, you have, I don't know. I don't know. Vamos a buscar. My five cats mm -hmm. was, uh, I don't know. Sterilized. Uh -huh. My five sterilized. cats was sterilized. Mm -hmm. Because uh, one cat uh, lost two. Yeah. It uh, was the similar this. <laughs> But my cat was sterilized and he went outside and one day he didn't come back. Uh, lindo. He's looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> he knows yeah. Yeah. He knows we like cats. <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nice. So now I have two. But we have to sterilize the baby that mm -hmm. mm, she has the appointment in September. Uh, so we're going to wait until September because right now she's a baby. She's a baby, so she can wait. <laughs> but as soon as possible, we are going to sterilize her too. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I will take you out now. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Karen Elena. Ya vio Karen Janet. A Karen Elena, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I want to hear a couple of you sharing. Who would be my volunteers? Volunteers. Joanna, choose the victim. Uh, I'm going to be the first victim, then I'm going to choose a victim. Okay, perfect. Okay. I'm going to read my three sentences. First one, I am a nutritionist and I work in a weight loss clinic. I work for a great company which helps people to lose weight. And then I am a nutritionist and I have to take the weight and measures of the patients. Then I have to give them a nutritional plan. And I have to see them every week until they finish their treatments. Okay. Very good. And until they lose weight. That's yes. <laughs> they get fit. Until they get fit. That's yes. very, very, very difficult. Jose Alfredo has a face that he wants he to wants share with us. I know. 
<laughs> okay, thank you, Joana. Jose Alfredo, go. Hola, hola. Hi, hi. Tell me, teacher. You tell me. Oh, no, chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an industrial mechanic. Okay. I work in a technician assist. I work for a company, Central American company. Uh, no, I work for a company, Central American, which mm -hmm. sells machines to... To other companies. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, que, como se diría, a nivel nacional. National. Y, uh -huh. Nationally. Nationally. Or you sell uh, tools around the country, in all the country, mm -hmm. or just in San Salvador? Uh, 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 other country. Or along the, all the country, right? Sí. Okay, what do you do exactly? Um, bring. Uh, Como era dar eh, servicio técnico. Eh, techni technical support. You give technical support. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Jose Alfredo, choose another victim. Okay. Da, 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 da. Michi. Hmm? Carla. Carla. Carla, Carla. And I am an architect. I work in administration. I work for a Japanese company which dedicated to consulting, supervising, and design civil projects. I am responsible to organize or organ organize organizar como se dice organizar organizar organize organize all the office and distribute cars found house for workers to live in San Salvador because uh, we we work in San Miguel and I am responsible for all administrative aspects of the project. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Carlita, they and my daughters are admiring your cat. Mish? <laughs> mish, mish. A couple of minutes ago, he was like watching the camera. <laughs> <laughs> They are crazy about cats. <laughs> they are crazy, crazy about cats. Bang, baby. This is the one. <laughs> this is the one I was telling you that we, ah, that we rescued yeah. last week. <laughs> How many cats Beautiful. do you have? I have two. I two? have two. Yeah. You, you really like cats. I don't like cats. You don't like cats? No. Oh, look at this. How can you say no to this? Just, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I can see them and touch them. And I think that they are really cute, but I never, ever, ever in life had a cat. You have never had a cat. No. That happens to me with dogs. I like to see dogs, but I don't have one. And I love dogs and I have one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, go, 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 go away. <laughs> Okay, we need another volunteer. One more. Where is our favorite victim, Luis, Luis Mauricio? <laughs> Luis Mauricio, hello. I want hello. to I want you to listen to Claudia Carolina. Yes. 
like yes. it. <laughs> And <this> okay. Is... <laughs> okay. Uh, I am accountant. I work in finance department. I work for fiance. I work for a little company which help the environment. And I am accountant. I have to make many payments, read and apply laws, analyze information and prepare reports. I am responsible for the pay, apply on time and give information updated. Excellent. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, yeah. a clap for Joanna, Carla, and Claudia, Carolina. We still have time to listen to another person. Yes, probably. A ver. Choose another victim. <laughs> we are going to ask Claudia to choose the next one. Uh, okay. One man. <laughs> one man. <laughs> a man. <laughs> Uh, Maybe one of the new ones. Okay, yes, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Let's see, we have there. Yeah. David Alexander. <laughs> Jose Alfredo. <laughs> new, right? David Alexander, Diego Batres, Edwin Mauricio, Elvin Alexander, Elvin. Jonathan Ezequiel. Jose Alfredo already presented. Oh, a, a clap for Jose Alfredo too. Eh, we have Luis Edgardo, Nubia Zulema, Nubia, I see you double connected. Is that correct? <laughs> Now, yeah. Are you double, 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 double Nubia? Double Nubia? Yes. Eh, hmm. Who do you want to, oh, we have another Karen too, Karen Elena, Carla, 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 Carla. We have another Carla, right? Oh, I'm not here today. Uh-huh, but I gave you numbers, uh, numbers, names. Okay. Who, who? Okay. <laughs> I can okay. give you a name. Okay, give me a name. Okay, Elvin. <laughs> Elvin, Elvin Alexander. Hey, good evening. Hello, good evening. Oh, okay. Um, I, Elvin, I am merchandiser for Procter and Gamble, my company. I work in the area of personal care products. I had a bit working for the company for 18 days. I knew in the company. Okay. Uh, I am responsible for the always be begin a profit uh, that reaching my cell call. Finish. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And time is over. So I'm going to call attendance. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Today is Carolina Abigail's day, right? Yes. Carolina. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Joanna. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. <coughs> Karen. Karen. Present teacher. Ah, yo sabía que por ahí está. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. 
No está. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Sorry, teacher. Eh, have a only one boy. ¿Mm? A little boy. <laughs> a little? A little boy. Why? Rosie have a little boy. Really? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Really, Rosie? You call attendance uh, a little boy. <laughs> okay. Eh, Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar. And Beatriz Jamlet. Okay. Pacha. Miren qué bonitos. Hoy hay más. Pacha. Ahí estamos. Well, have a great weekend. A dormir. Yeah. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. 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 Cheque el micrófono. Sí, estaba parado. No había visto. Según yo ya lo había presionado. Sí. Ok, tell me, Carolina, do you have any questions? Um, con respecto a la clase, creo que no, teacher, aunque casi no. Bueno, como le puse ahorita, estoy de oyente, entonces más que todo escucho y trato de anotar lo que logro. Pero casi no lo estoy eh, revisando todo en el momento. Pero con respecto a la tarea del día de ayer, no sé qué he puesto malo en la plataforma. Aunque okay. solo dos, las últimas dos me dan problema también. La number five. Number four and, four and five. Yes. Number four and number five. Yes. Okay, what do you write in number four? Okay, tengo weekends of wood be a good option to have a happy staff. Vaya. Y el punto final, el de capital letter. Okay. Solo hay una cosa. Uh -huh. La respuesta le han puesto employees en vez de staff. Por eso es que se la pone mala. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Then you change it to. La otra. To, 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 to employees. Nuestro sinónimo, digamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo vamos a poner aquí. Sin es el final, ¿verdad? Solo Ajá, los dos días. Eh, perdón. Revisarlo porque siempre me tira mal. Hoy sí ya se la da correcta. Ahorita creo que una letra me había tenido todavía. No, todavía no. Weekend of. Pero es una por una vez si no me he comido otra letra. Of so you have weekends off. Ajá. Would be a good mm -hmm. option. Yeah. 
option would be a good option to have a happy mm, kitelela uh, okay uh -huh. to have a happy Employee. Como cambiaron staff y staff será singular, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Pero employees no. Entonces ya no lleva a. To have happy employees. ¿No lleva ese al final employees o sí? Employees. Con S. Ah, pues sí, esa me faltaba la S al final. Happy employees. Y le pone el period, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Ya me agarró esa, la number five. Vaya, okay. in number five, yesterday we said, María could be a great help in the department of inventory. Así dijimos nosotros, ¿verdad? But eh, we are going to have a change there. And then you say could be of great help. Y la A no va a aquí en esta oración no lleva A. So you have great of inventory, the department could be Maria help in. ¿Cómo la ha puesto usted? Tenía el Maria could be a great help in the department. Ajá, pero no hay, no hay A, ¿verdad? En, la, en las palabras que le han dado no hay A. Ajá, no hay A, es cierto. Ajá. Entonces, instead of A, ponga off. Mm, okay. María, could be off. Ay, es cierto. El sueño ya no me daba ya también. <ríe> off. Great. Of inventory. Pero ya usó el off, ya no lo puede volver a usar. Mm -hmm. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que en vez de decir in the department of inventory, vamos a decir in the inventory department. Mm -hmm. In the department of education or in the education department. Las dos formas son correctas, pero como hay que adaptarnos a lo que la plataforma tiene, ¿verdad? Para que la tome correcta. Entonces sería María, could be, could be of great, great help in the department. No, in the inventory department. Ah, the inventory department. Mm -hmm. Porque si decimos in the department, vamos a necesitar of y el of ya lo ocupamos. María, could be of great help in the inventory department. Sí, es cierto, si agarrar, darle vuelta entonces. Ajá. Ya ocupamos el off. Sí, porque iba a tener. Great. Sí, hoy sí ya me quedó. Uh -huh. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Sí, hoy sí me agarró. Ajá, those were the last, uh, the ones that, 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 that had a different. Sí, esas dos son las que me daba problema, de verdad. Pero sí, me parece dicho. Bien, por lo demás, creo ah, que... The one, the one for today is very easy. Oh, yes. It's using... Lo... It's using the expressions of time. Yes, it's a ya. We finish. <laughs> uh -huh, that's very easy. Yeah, that's... Esa ya la terminé. No estaban tan difíciles. Ajá, that's super easy for you to do it in a minute. All the, 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 the homework number three. Y prácticamente tiene que ver con el contexto para poder eh, asociarlo más luego prácticamente. Ajá, exacto. Exacto. Okay, no and that and that number three is based exactly in the in the in the well what you have to do is are the expressions of time that we were talking about today scenes for from to until then 
Mm -hmm. Those are the, the expressions of time that you have to use there. Son las que se ocupan más comúnmente, ¿verdad? Ajá, exacto. Exacto. Just to remember that for a period of time, we use a uh, for. If we're talking about the beginning of the time, it's since. If we're talking about the beginning and end, that will be from to. So uh, just checking what is the, the right expression that we use in this, in a specific time. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, Carolina. Okay, teacher. Have a good night, Ibuen. Let's Thanks, go to rest and have a nice weekend. Thanks, teacher. Lástima que no fue long weekend, ¿verdad? Porque cayó primero de mayo en domingo. Ay, sí, el único día que voy a descansar. <laughs> Primera suerte que voy a descansar. Porque el domingo me viene de descanso, nada más. Exacto, <laughs> hubiera caído lunes. Ay, Debería sí. de ser movible el día. <laughs> <laughs> Los asuntos. A conveniencia. <laughs> exactly, exactly. At least May 10th is, let me see what day is May 10th. It's Tuesday. Uh, sí. <laughs> ¿Cuándo termina el curso? ¿Cómo no me conecté a la primera clase? We finish, no? I guess it's the 20 something of, of May, 25th, I guess. Let me see. I don't remember. <laughs> sí, the 25th of May. Pues, no andaba mal. May 25th. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay, well, take care. See you. Bye, teacher. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Yes, take care.